thoughts on Powerledger. With the movement for renewable energy, mining, etc., it would allow peer-to-peer -peer energy trading on the existing electrical grid. So let's dig into this. So for those who are not familiar with Powerledger, um, it is basically the idea of a crypto asset that is backed by energy. It is founded on the idea of using blockchain to democratize energy by providing a way for energy producers to sell their excess electricity. And it's kind of what uh, Tesla is doing actually with their auto bidder. I think they're testing that in Australia right now. And the vision is to unlock stranded renewable energy resources and improve the energy sector by making renewables cheaper and more easily accessible. That's the whole vision. It's very difficult to achieve this though in the real world. So the question is, this is a little graph. If anybody wants to dig into more exactly how the power platform works, what you do, you have an ERC power token. See, Ethereum is behind everything. And uh, the, that allows the platform when there is a minimum hold of the tokens in order to interact in the marketplace. It's like kind of a membership card to a gym or something. And once you can convert power tokens to their native Sparks token, Sparks are the internal currency used as a medium of exchange for buying and selling energy, you know, in a peer-to-peer -peer way. And you can burn Sparks in exchange for power tokens once you want to get out as well. And from an investor standpoint, um, even though this looks very simple right here, it is very complicated. It's going to take a long time for it to take off. Uh, I think you're better off investing in the stable coin for yield or Bitcoin right now. So there is some value dilution in the actual platform too. So from that perspective, interesting concept. I think it's too early right now.